1300 hundred hours pakistan standard time assalamu alaikum this is radio pakistan the news read by hasan gilani first the headlines prime minister says the country is facing load shedding as pti government neither purchased fuel in time nor prepared power plants Finance Minister says International Monetary Fund has agreed for continuation of Extended Fund Facility Program. Election Commission of Pakistan today completes scrutiny of nomination papers for local government elections in Balochistan. Arab League has called on the international community to act against the illegal Israeli policies and measures in occupied Jerusalem. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif has said the country is facing load shedding as PTI government neither purchased fuel in time nor repaired the power plants. In a tweet today, he said costly power generation through inefficient plants is costing the people 100 billion rupees per month. He said we are trying to fix the problem. The Prime Minister recalled that the government of Nawaz Sharif had ended the worst load shedding in five years. Minister for Finance and Revenue Mifta Ismail says International Monetary Fund has agreed to send its mission to Pakistan in the middle of next month for continuation of Extended Fund Facility Program. Addressing a news conference in Washington, the minister said he and his team had very good discussion with the IMF, the World Bank and IFC. He said the incumbent government will fulfill all sovereign commitments made by the previous governments with the IMF and regarding CPAC. The finance minister said Pakistan has never defaulted in the last 70 years and will not default in the future too. He however said there had been excessive budget deficits, which led to increase in debts. He said the incumbent government will try its best to reduce the debts by enhancing overall GDP. Replying to a question, he said Pakistan cannot afford to continue subsidy on petroleum products due to its economic condition. Election Commission of Pakistan will complete today the scrutiny of nomination papers filed by the candidates for local government elections in Balochistan. Appeals against the decision of returning officers could be filed from tomorrow. The returning officers will decide on appeals from 29th April to 6th of May. A revised list of candidates will be issued on 7th of next month. Polling on 32 districts of Balochistan will be held on 29th of next month. Foreign Office has strongly deplored the so-called public notice issued by the University Grants Commission of India and the All India Council for Technical Education advising students not to seek higher education in Pakistan and warning them of being denied employment in case they choose to do so. In a statement today, Foreign Office spokesperson Asim Iftikhar said the tone of public notice is not only threatening towards the students but is also reeks of tyrannical authoritarianism. The spokesperson said this had further exposed the BJP RSS combined deep-rooted ideological enormous and chronic hostility towards Pakistan. He said we have sought clarification from the Indian government with reference to the public notice. The spokesperson said Pakistan reserves the right to take appropriate measures in response to this openly discriminatory and inexplicable action by India. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Kashmiri liberation workers and leaders have decided that various factions of Huryat will work only under the banner of a single All Parties Huryat Conference to achieve the right to self determination in accordance with the UN Security Council resolutions. The APHC spokesman in a statement issued in Srinagar said India unilaterally and illegally annexed the occupied Jammu and Kashmir in violation of international laws, and APHC leaders and activists were arrested under the Black Law Public. Safety Act. He lamented that India not only carried out murders and arson, but left no stone unturned to change the demography of the Muslim majority territory by settling non state subjects. He said APHC umbrella will further be strengthened and expanded to all regions, including Jammu and Ladakh. He said Women Wing has been formed separately by uniting all women organizations. The Arab League has called on the international community to act against the illegal Israeli policies and measures in occupied Jerusalem. In a statement issued during an emergency meeting of the Arab Ministerial Committee in Amman, the Assistant Secretary General of the Arab League, Ahmed Rashid Khatabi, said the Israeli escalation in occupied Jerusalem has plunged the region into a cycle of violence. He urged the Security Council to assume its responsibility in face of the reckless Israeli actions against the freedom to practice religious rights guaranteed by the International Convention 
conventions as a fundamental human right. And this is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio Pakistan news official.